Hi everyone, I'm demoing the unit testing feature in Komodo 10.2 today. This is a new feature we launched that replaces a lot of the old functionality in Komodo IDE. It gives you a lot of useful information when running unit tests. We're going to be adding a new test right now so that we can kind of show you how it works. So I'm going to be selecting the folder I want to be running my tests on. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to save it to the current project. I can also save it globally or to the current file, which means it's accessible either when I'm on the current file or maybe just I want to exit at all times regardless of what I'm doing, which would be global. I can also change the framework to any of these supported frameworks as well as a custom framework. So when I select custom framework, I can customize the command here to be whatever I want it to be as long as the output produces a format that is supported by one of these parsers. So if I have a unit testing framework that supports tap, I can select that. I enter my command here that my unit testing framework uses and Komodo will support it right there out of the box, even though it didn't explicitly support that specific framework. I can also customize the command to include certain shortcuts. So I can input the file path here and that would only have it run on the current file. For now, I'm just going to use the default settings. Now, when I press run, I will get my unit testing outputs. As you can see, it tells me what set test succeeded. It tells me what test failed and it tells me what test had errors. So I can select a test to find out more information about it. I can right click it, click on show details. It will give me more information. I can double click it and it will go right to the test. Uh, or I can go through right click and then click go to test. I can uh, run the test in the debugger uh, that will place a breakpoint on that line and then launch the debugger. I think I already had a breakpoint there, so you might not have been able to see that properly. Let me do it again. There we go. And I can show the details in a little pop up, which is identical to what you see on the right hand side here. But hey, maybe you want to have. Uh, a pop-up that you can drag to our monitor or do whatever you want with. Speaking of pop-ups, I can open unit testing in its own dialog. Very useful if I'm running uh, a, a development environment on two monitors. I can select run on save. Let me do it in the panel. Run on save. Now, whenever I save my file, it will run the test again. And you'll see that now it passes. I can click show details, which will give me details on the test that failed. Let me make this one fail again so you can see a proper example of that. Here it tells me the expected text and the actuality is not text. Now I can also filter my tests. So I'm going to search for um, create it and it will show me tests that match that. I can say I only want to see fail tests. Let me remove my search, uh, which is currently only that one. I only want to see uh, tests that had errors, or I want to filter by the specific group. Well, that's unit testing for you. Uh, we hope you will give it a try. It's new in Komodo 10.2. We're very excited about it and we're very uh, interested in what else we can do with it in the future.